Let us now begin our discussion of the second case affix, Vitiya Vivakti, so called as the accusative case in English. For that, we have to first define this sanya, this uh, designation of karma. What exactly is the object of the action? Sutram here is 1449, which reads Karturi Psita Tamam Karma. Padacheda is Kartuho Ipsita Tamam Karma. The Vritya Sutram says Kartuho Kriya Ya. Aptu Mishta Tamang Karakam Karma Sanyam Syat which means that Karakam Karakam means participant in the action Karakam means one who does means one who participates in the action which the doer most desires to obtain or reach through the action is called the object it gets the designation Karma the object of the action Ipsitam is a Sananta Prayogaha the verbal root is Aap and we already studied 7455 ap nyapya that brings in the ikara desha and 7458 atralopo so we form the sananta dhatu ipsa at the nishtha pratyeha kita get the form Ipsita. So Ipsitam means Aptum Ishtam, desire to be reached or obtained. And by what? Let us recall that the Adhikara of Karke runs from 1423 down to 1455. The Sutram 1449 is in that Adhikara. And so we get the meaning Kriya Aptum Ishtam, which means that which the doer most desires to obtain or reach through the action is called Karma, or the object of the action. And the fact that we are in the Dikara of Karake also explains why the Vritti says Karakam Karma Sanyam Syat. That Karakam, participant in the action which the doer most desires to reach or obtain through the action is called the Karma or the object. The example here is very simple Harim Bhajati. Here the devotee is worshipping Hari, Lord Vishnu. Since the doer most desires to propitiate or reach Hari through the action of worship, Hari gets the designation karma as per this sutram 1449 and we are going to be taking the sutram 232 next 232 says karmani dvitiya it tells us that a second case affix is used to denote the object of the action provided it has not been expressed otherwise but before going there let us look at this note over here which says that kartuhukim maasheshvashvam badnati meaning that someone tithers or ties his horse among the beans in the beans field. Now here the beans are the most desired but for the horse not for the one who is doing the action of tying. So therefore we don't use the second case affix with masha. The comment here says that karmanaha ipsitaha mashaha natukartuhu. The beans are the object of desire but of the horse who is the object of the action of binding not the doer of the action of binding. So we have to keep in mind that only that which the doer most desires to obtain or reach to the action is called karma. The second part of the note says tamak grahanam kim. What does sutram say? Ipsita tamam. Tamap is a tadita pratyaha which we have not studied so far. It denotes a superlative degree which means most of something. So in this case most desired. Why does Panini use that? Because look at the example. Upadam shena shakam bhunte. Somebody eats a vegetable with relish or a condiment. So he is eating both the vegetable and the relish but what he wants most is a vegetable, not the relish. So even though he is obtaining or reaching both through the action of eating, but among those two, the vegetable is the one which is most desired by him. So that is why only Shaka takes the accusative case and not Upadamsha. So further note here which says that Vivakshataha Karakani Bhavanti. Very important note to remember that these labels, these Karaka Sanyaha, they are dependent on the intention of the speaker to express a certain meaning. For example here, the fact that the person likes vegetable more than relish is that person's choice of course. You cannot force this person to like one over the other. We are assuming that the person likes vegetable over relish. Well, that's the main object of his liking. 
or desiring is the vegetable. That's why we are saying only shakar takes the itya vibhakti and not upadamsha. Now, if the person liked the relish more than the vegetable, then we would have to say shakena upadamsha bhukte. That is the desire of the speaker to express that meaning. So it all depends on what the speaker wants to express. It is kind of obvious, but sometimes we get carried away and we forget that these designation of object etc they depend on what the speaker wants to express 